Y'all want to see a Hammerlin HQ 180 beat the hell out of an ICOM 705 like it was a rented mule, okay? Both on the same Wellbrook antenna through a Stridesburg. You heard that. Top band. Oh, I cleaned the band switches too. That's why we're out of the case right now. And I changed all the damn tubes, okay? So top band's working like a champ. 20 megahertz at 3.15 in the afternoon. You can hear it. All right, let's come over here. I can see the trail. Let's wait for the tone. I think that was the tone. Sound like a weak ass squeak. Let's come on back over to a real radio. Listen to it. It's like I'm sitting in the parking lot in Colorado at WWV. I got this bitch up to 55%. All I get is fucking static. I had one little tone there. Dude, my new favorite radio. All right, so if you watched my video yesterday, I got all my new tubes in today. So I took it out of the case, I flipped it up on its side, and I cleaned the band switch, like I was saying I was gonna do. I used uh, a pencil eraser and a plastic scratcher probe thing. And then uh, some uh, deoxid. And very gently, not a lot. And worked it. I, I did all the switches I could get to while I was in there. And then I changed all the tubes. The only one I didn't change was this one on the end. Okay? Because the tube that they sent me looked darker inside than the tube that was in there. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything. Let's see what that tube was supposed to be here. All right, so the tube I did not change is AM detector, AVC AM detector 6BV8, which is this one, 6BV8, okay? So I did not change that one. I can, and I'm gonna, I'll probably experiment. I'll probably shut this thing off, let it cool a little, and I'll swap that tube in there. Uh, but this thing's running like a champ. Now, one thing I did notice, everything, now remember if you watched my video last night, WWV at two and a half, five and 10 were basically spot on, all right? Maybe a line's width off either way, like maybe in a low, you know? Right now, well, let's go down and check it. So let's go to, well, the, the main thing is the top band is working, okay? And it's wor working fine. So, peek it. Let's go down to 10. There's 10. Okay, so there's W. Oh, let me move this in the center. Okay. Then we'll line this up. Let's 
so you can see where a line's width to the right. Maybe a little bit, yeah, about a line's width to the right. If I remember correctly, and I might have to go back and watch the video, I think we were either on the line or hugging the left side of the line. So let's go down to five. I can't get five, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. But it seems to me that the dial is aligning slightly to the right of the indicated frequency from last night. And I'm wondering, like, how could just change in the tubes do that? And then it occurred to me, maybe with all the old tubes that were in it, maybe the, the last guy who aligned it aligned it with those tubes. And then if I change the tubes, some of the tubes are putting out different power, if that's the right term, and maybe that throws the alignment off slightly. Robert, maybe you can uh, jump in on this and help me offer up some advice on that. Or maybe some of you uh, smart viewers out there, because I don't know squat, all right? I'm just guessing. But uh, what I'm saying is my top band now is working. It was intermittent yesterday, so cleaning that switch worked fine. Changing all the tubes, I, you know, is it better? Is it worse? I mean, it really was nothing wrong with it last night. Hell, I might even just put all the old ones back in it. Hell, I might just send all of those tubes to Robert, let him put them on his tube checker and check them. And if they're all good, then send them back and I'll put them all back in. But anyway, I'm very happy with this radio and it just beat the living hell out of this icon like it was a rented mule. All right, I love that.